And so I was having a drink last year with a friend, and we were talking about how do you inspire people? How do you get people to talk again? How do you drive the conversation back? Obviously, we've got a lot of problems to take care of right here on this planet, but one of the beautiful things about space flight is it's, it's all of us working together. Those rockets don't go anywhere um, unless you have hundreds or thousands of people doing kicking ass at their jobs. Um, and we were trying to think of an image, something to sort of shock people into looking and thinking um, about this again. Um, what we came up with was a red sports car um, and, uh, and a David Bowie song. Uh, my friend Elon was with us here today. We got room. We got room. <laughs> Elon, we love you. <laughs> uh, Elon, we know. You know, I know from talking about it with you a lot over the years um, how what drives you and what drives the mission of SpaceX is beyond just commercial space. There's more to it than that. Um, uh, that there's a mission. There's a larger mission, there. and uh, I'd love if you could talk a little bit about it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, yeah, so as, as Jonah was alluding to, there, there are a lot of negative things in the world. There's a lot of terrible things that are happening all over the world, all the time. Uh, there are lots of problems that need to get solved. There's lots of things that are, yeah, that are miserable and kind of get you down. But that life cannot just be about solving one was a real problem after another. Can't, that can't be the only thing. There need to be, need to be things that inspire you, that make you glad to, be, to wake up in the morning and be part of humanity. That's why we did this. This guy called Tsiolkovsky, one of the early Russian rocket scientists, the great saying, Earth is the cradle of humanity, but you cannot stay in the cradle forever. It is time to go forth, become a star-faring civilization, be out there among the stars, expand the scope and scale of human consciousness. I, I find that incredibly exciting. That, that makes me glad to be alive. I, I hope you feel the same way. So, I had the privilege of being down with Elon at launch control for the Falcon Heavy launch. Um, and there was an incredible spirit there on the day. Uh, it felt uh, extraordinary, thinking about all the people who'd contributed to, to, to putting this together uh, and the spirit of it, and something that you hadn't, I hadn't felt in an, in an awfully long time. We tried to distill that essence down, um, tried to record it and capture it and spread it in a way, in hopes of making people feel a little bit of that of what we felt on the day. Um, the only way I know how to express it, we cut a trailer. Um, it's not a trailer for a movie, it's not a trailer for a TV show. What we're hoping this is, is the trailer for one part of the next chapter of the human story. Woo. Woo. Yeah.